Patrons of the arts should love the Jaguar F-Type Coupe as much as auto enthusiasts. As sculpture, it's as much Rodin as Road Machine, with undulating aluminum panels draped over a bonded and riveted aluminum platform. Music? Jaguar's symphonic sound is Tchaikovsky in the distance. Wagner in the cabin. Perfect for a quick trip to the concert hall. I'm Tom Volk with Driven for the New York Times, and right now, I really wish I had access to a racetrack. That's because the letter R signifies this one is a performance artist. F-Type can be had with a supercharged 3-liter V6 that pumps out either 340 or 380 horsepower. Then there's this. Send the children to the other room. The R's supercharged V8 can summon obscene power from its five liters. 550 horsepower and 502 pound-feet of torque, to be exact. Sounds like snap, crackle, and pop all gargling nitroglycerin together. The eight-speed transmission comes with paddle shifters, of course. Suspension, throttle, gearbox, exhaust note, and steering weight can be altered. F-Type R is rear drive for now. All-wheel drive will be standard in the spring of 2015. Jaguar claims zero to 60 in four seconds. That seems a little faster than that. Top speed is 186 miles an hour due to an electronic leash. That means heroic binders are necessary. An extra 12 grand buys carbon ceramic brakes. The drawback to this kind of speed? Uh, it denies admirers the chance to swoon over the shape. F-Type does demand your attention. If you hit ruts in the road, you can really feel it through the steering wheel. This cat talks to drivers, there's lots of feedback. There's an electronic active differential and torque vectoring system. I suspect a Porsche 911 or Corvette will edge the F-Type out on a track. On civilian roads, it's tough to explore the lofty limits of the Jag. At speeds I will not admit to, the firm adaptive suspension gives F-Type a stable, confident quality. FYI, this is a sign to law enforcement, 70 miles an hour has been reached. And then, there's the sound. <laughs> That's worth at least 20,000 bucks. Oh yeah, price. A V6 F-Type Coupe starts at 65 grand. This top shelf R model begins at 99. I'm assuming owners aren't concerned with the 17 mile per gallon fuel economy average that I'm seeing, even using premium gas. The cockpit, or cocoon really, is definitely oriented towards the driver. It looks expensive, the wheel is a joy to hold, deeply bolstered seats are firm but comfortable and supportive. Not much room for stashing stuff, uh, buy a minivan if that's what you're looking for. Clearly there's only seating for two. There's some criticism that the interface is dated, personally I find it easy to use. If you're looking for any amount of practicality with your British heritage, it's best to go with a Land Rover. Out goes the security panel for a fighting chance. There's a smidge of space here, but in the end, uh, no pun intended, the boot is on the smaller side at three packs of the two-ply. But hey, that's enough room for a couple and their luggage for a road trip. They won't have to visit art museums. There's plenty for the eye to appreciate here. And leave the Beethoven out of the CD player. F-Type has its own soundtrack. You probably know the F-Type is available as a convertible as well. The coupe manages to look more sleek and graceful than the ragtop, which has a more stubby jet fighter look about it. The coupe is also significantly more rigid when it comes to structural rigidity, lighter too. For those who want to row their own gears, a six-speed manual transmission option will be available this spring in the 2016 rear-wheel drive V6 models. That's my opinion of the 2015 Jaguar F-Type R Coupe. Remember, I have driven the convertible version, so if you want to see that review, just search the interweb, or more specifically, go to the NewYorkTimes.com where I'm a contributor. It's pretty easy to find there. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.